Hey there, if I ask you which JavaScript topic you find difficult, there are high chances that your answer will be promises. This is very usual and very obvious. The reason could be that most often we don't understand what is the background of the promises, what exactly going on when a promise gets executed. I had the same problem. I read a lot, dealt with it, did a lot of pen and paper exercise, and then I thought, why not make a simple tool that will help the developers to understand promises and his execution process much more better way, more interactively, more visual way. That's when I came up with a tool called Promivis. Promivis is a simple tool that can run on web. Um, it is it's, uh, uh, built with progressive web app, so you should be able to install as well on your devices. So what it does, you can execute a bunch of promises uh, while uh, you are doing a demonstration of multiple APIs uh, that comes from JavaScript promise object, like resolve, all, any, rest, all settled. So in this application, I have, you know, three promises. I execute always three promises. And once they resolve successfully, they give a result in form of giving me a color. And that color and the color name and the color color I just render over here so that I know this promise got resolved successfully. If there is an error or it rejects, it doesn't show me any color. It doesn't uh, give me the color name. So I know that is kind of rejected, right? So here, this is for red, this is for green, and this is for blue. And here I have a bunch of uh, promise APIs to select from. Below there is a terminal kind of uh, log window where each of the promise logs its own execution status so that we know very clearly like what exactly going on and we can actually learn from it. We can change each of this value and try to see from the logs like what exactly change. We make our mind, okay, this is probably happened. So why this is happening and we can kind of confirm our theoretical knowledge to something practical. That's the whole purpose of Promivis app. Along with that, there are a few settings that I have added in this app. You can clear the logs, you can persist the log if you want, or uh, if you just kind of remove it after every selection, that's also fine. You can additionally select a theme of your choice, um, you know, just to be a bit fancy, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So let's get started with one of the demonstration. Let us select uh, promise.all API. So what exactly promise.all API? It takes a bunch of promises as an input. Let's say this red, green, and blue. And once it takes this as an input, it executes um, based on the time that each of the promises takes. And it returns a new promise once the execution is done, once all the promises are resolved. New promise only after the promise which takes the longest time to execute. So in this case, the last one, which is five seconds. So it means that if I do promise.all, it is going to resolve each of these promises one by one, but the, it will give me the result only after five seconds of its execution starts. So let's do this. Promise.all, it started handling all the colors, red, green, and blue, started at 2404. At 2409, it finished. So it takes exactly five seconds as you see. So just to make sure that this is the case, what we'll do is like we'll make this one as two seconds. That means now it is one, three, and two. So this time it should come back after three seconds. So at the 22 is started, 25. So it is working fine. Another aspect of promise.all is if you reject one of the promise, the whole promise, the output promise get rejected with an, with an error. So let's try to do that. So I'll reject this green one and try to see what happened after three seconds possibly. So you see after three seconds, it's rejected the color green, hence it's rejecting all, right? So like this, you should be able to play around each of these promise APIs and you'll be able to learn, you'll be able to manipulate that, you'll be able to connect with your theories to the practical knowledge of it. In future, I'm going to add a lot more feature to this. This is an open source tool, so it means it is available in GitHub for you to contribute. Please, please feel free to contribute and if you like this project, please give it a star. I hope you make a good use of it. Happy coding and happy learning. Thank you very much.